sometimes you need to create a new variable from old variables. Uh, for instance, I may have a group of three or four Likert scale variables that I need to combine into one kind of composite variable. And one way to do this is by simply adding the values of these uh, uh, component variables. Now let's look at how to do that. Alright, so I'm going to go up transform compute variable. Alright, I want to give my new variable a name. Well, in this case, I'm going to call it dry mouth. Now, um, I can't use any spaces. Let's just use that. So I'm going to go down here and I've got four dry mouth variables. Well, I know I'm going to combine them simply by adding. So I double click, and add that one, that one, three, and four. So now I've got dry mouth is going to be, the value of dry mouth is going to be whatever the sum of these four variables are. Now if I only wanted to do this for, let's say, females, I could go in and I could say include the cases only if uh, they were female or if they had dentures, let's say dentures, I would say uh, like if de uh, one if they had dentures I could say only include them if they have dentures. But in this case I want to include all the cases. So um, what I do then is click OK. Alright, and here's an important piece. Um, I now have some syntax here of how to compute that variable. You want to keep this syntax. And you want to keep it for two reasons. One, if you update your data set, okay, let's say you add new cases in, you're going to have to recompute your composite variable every time um, you know you add new variables. I mean, sorry, you add new cases. The other thing is, you always want to keep this, uh, and you can put it in the bottom of your code book or in a separate, uh, you know, Microsoft Word file. But you want to keep this uh, um, syntax to make your life easier later, so you know how you computed a variable. Okay? And let me show you what I do. Um, very often, I'll copy. Okay? And then I'll go. Um, let's see, I want to look at, um, I'm going to open a new file here. Alright, I just opened a new Word file. Alright, and then I'm going to paste in that syntax. Okay, and I may save this as uh, re, um, compute new variables syntax. Okay, now wh when I have done this, let's say I add 50 new cases to my uh, data set. Well, I can either go back and do the compute, blah, 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 or, let me show you, I can go in, I can copy this, go back to my um, SPSS file, I can open a new syntax file, okay, and open it, and then paste in my syntax, and press uh, run all and it will recalculate, so I'm not having to, this was a very simple, um, you know, uh, com uh, compute, but sometimes you have fairly complex ones, so working from the syntax uh, will give you the same result, but it's a lot faster. Okay, so let's get out of that for a sec. Um, now, we just ca calculated a new variable. Let's look at it real quick. So I'm going to do, um, I know it's a, a um, uh, continuous variable. So I'm going to go down, I want to do an explore. Let me see, where's my, oh, there's my new dry mouth variable. Okay. I want to look at outliers. I want descriptives. Plots. I hate stem and leaf. I do like histogram. I'm going to go ahead and do a normality plot just to see if this is normally distributed. Click OK. And boom. Here's my new variable. Here's what it looks like, etc. So that's how you create a new variable. Um, just by computing. Now, obviously, you can get a lot more complicated in your formula for computing your variable. This is a very simple one, but the um, process is going to be the same.